Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of cybersecurity. We're talking about how hackers can spy on unsuspecting partners, the tools they use, and most importantly, how you can protect yourself. Unlock the secrets of cybersecurity with our latest video, How Hackers Spy on Your Partner, Top Tools and Tips. We'll also give you some practical tips on how to protect your personal data and secure your online presence. So buckle up, smash that like button, and let's get right into it. Alright, so let's dive right into the top tools and tips hackers use to spy on unsuspecting partners. I know this sounds like something straight out of a spy movie, but trust me, this stuff is real, and it's happening every day. One of the most common methods hackers use is phishing. This is where they send out emails or text messages that look like they're from a legitimate source, like your bank or a social media platform. These messages will usually try to trick you into clicking on a link that will take you to a fake website designed to steal your login credentials. Another common tactic is to use keyloggers. These are small programs that can be installed on your computer or phone without you knowing. Once they're installed, they can track every keystroke you make, including passwords, credit card numbers, and even your private conversations. And then there are Wi-Fi sniffers. These are devices that can be used to intercept data that's being transmitted over a wireless network. Before we go any further, let's take a step back and talk about ethical hacking. Ethical hackers are basically the good guys of the hacking world. They use the same tools and techniques as malicious hackers, but they do it with permission and with the goal of finding and fixing vulnerabilities before the bad guys can exploit them. Think of it like this. Imagine you have a house with a weak lock on the back door. You could just ignore it and hope that nobody notices, or you could hire a locksmith to come and fix it before a burglar decides to pay you a visit. That's kind of what ethical hackers do, but for computers and networks, they run penetration tests, which are basically simulated cyber attacks designed to see how well a system can withstand an actual attack. Okay, let's talk about keyloggers. These sneaky little programs are like the ninjas of the cyber world, silently recording your every move without you even realizing it. Keyloggers can be hardware or software based. Hardware keyloggers are physical devices that are plugged in between your keyboard and your computer, kind of like a little man in the middle intercepting every keystroke. They're harder to detect, but also less common because they require physical access to your device. Software keyloggers, on the other hand, are far more prevalent. They can be installed on your computer through malicious links, phishing emails, or even bundled with seemingly harmless software downloads. Once installed, they run silently in the background, logging every keystroke you make. These logs can then be accessed by the attacker, revealing everything from your private messages and browsing history to your online banking credentials and credit card details. All right, let's talk about Wi-Fi sniffers, those sneaky devices that can eavesdrop on your wireless communications. Imagine you're at a coffee shop, sipping on your latte and browsing the web, completely unaware that someone is secretly listening in on your every online move. That's the reality of Wi-Fi sniffing. Wi-Fi networks are like invisible highways carrying data packets between your device and the internet. And just like on a real highway, there are ways to intercept and analyze the traffic flowing through these wireless channels. That's where Wi-Fi sniffers come in. These devices, also known as packet analyzers, can capture and decode the data packets traveling over a Wi-Fi network. In the right hands, they're powerful tools for network administrators to troubleshoot connectivity issues or monitor network traffic. But in the wrong hands, they become tools for cyber espionage. Hackers can use Wi-Fi sniffers to capture sensitive information like login credentials, credit card numbers, and even entire conversations, especially if you're using unsecured public Wi-Fi networks. They can even launch attacks like session hijacking, where they take over your online accounts without needing your password. Using a VPN or virtual private network 
encrypts your internet traffic, making it much harder for snoopers to intercept your data. Let's talk about Wireshark and Nmap, two powerful tools that are like the Swiss Army knives of network analysis. Now these are more advanced tools typically used by network administrators and security professionals. But guess what? Hackers use them too. Wireshark is like a microscope for your network traffic. It captures and displays every single packet of data flowing through your network interface, giving you an incredibly detailed view of what's happening behind the scenes. You can see the source and destination IP addresses, the protocols being used, and even the actual data being transmitted. Think of it like listening in on every conversation happening in a crowded room. It's a lot of information to process, but it can be incredibly valuable for troubleshooting network issues, identifying security vulnerabilities, and even tracking down malicious activity. Nmap, on the other hand, is like a radar system for your network. It scans your network and identifies all the devices connected to it, along with their operating systems, open ports, and services running. It's like having a blueprint of your entire network, showing you all the potential entry points for an attacker. All right, folks, buckle up, because we're about to dive into the deep end with Metasploit, a tool so powerful, it's often referred to as the hacker's Swiss army knife. Now, before you panic, let me be clear. Metasploit itself isn't inherently good or bad. It's a tool, and like any tool, it can be used for both ethical and unethical purposes. In the hands of security professionals, Metasploit is an invaluable resource for penetration testing, vulnerability research, and security awareness training. It allows them to simulate real-world attacks and identify weaknesses in systems before the bad guys can exploit them. But in the wrong hands, Metasploit can be a dangerous weapon. It provides a framework for developing and executing exploits, which are basically pieces of code designed to take advantage of vulnerabilities in software. Metasploit has a vast library of pre-built exploits for various operating systems, applications, and devices. It allows attackers to launch sophisticated attacks with relative ease, potentially gaining control of systems, stealing data, or causing widespread disruption. All right, now that we've covered some of the scary ways hackers can spy on you, let's shift gears and talk about how to protect yourself. Because here's the thing, you don't have to be a cybersecurity expert to keep your data safe. A little bit of awareness and some simple precautions can go a long way. First things first, strong passwords. Use a unique, complex password for every single online account you have, and consider using a password manager to keep track of them all. Next up, two-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security by requiring you to enter a code from your phone or email in addition to your password when logging in. It might seem like a hassle, but trust me, it's worth it. Be wary of phishing emails and suspicious links. Don't click on anything that seems even remotely fishy and be especially careful about emails asking for personal information or login credentials. If you're not sure, go directly to the source's website or contact their customer support. Keep your software up to date. Software updates often include security patches that fix known vulnerabilities. Hackers are always looking for new ways to exploit weaknesses, so it's important to stay one step ahead by installing updates as soon as they're available. Be careful about what information you share online. The less information you share publicly, the less there is for hackers to exploit. Be mindful of your privacy settings on social media and avoid posting sensitive information like your home address or phone number. Use a VPN, especially on public Wi-Fi. And there you have it, folks. We've covered a lot of ground today, from the sneaky tactics hackers use to the practical steps you can take to protect yourself. Remember, cybersecurity is an ongoing process, not a one-time fix. If you find this information valuable, please like and share this video. Your support helps us spread awareness and make the digital world a safer place for everyone. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you in the next one.